Hello and welcome to the craft room here in my 1902 farmhouse. My name is Alicia with Country Mama Musings and today we're working on block 52 of our heirloom Afghan crochet along. This is the up and down stitch. So grab your supplies and let's get started. So using our size H crochet hook and color B, whatever you've determined to be color B, for me that is gray, we're going to go ahead and get started on block 52, the up and down stitch. To get started, we're going to start with a slip knot, leaving a nice long tail to sew in later. And we're going to chain 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three. Let's move on to row one. For row one, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook, so not counting the loop that's on your hook. Here's our first chain, here's our second chain. We're just going to slip into that chain and complete a single crochet. Moving on to the next chain, we're going to complete a double crochet. So yarn over into that chain grabbing our yarn and pulling back through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Moving on to our next chain, another single crochet. And on to the next chain, a double crochet. We're gonna continue this sequence all the way down our chain of single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, all the way to the end, you will have completed 22 stitches. When you get to the end, I'll meet up with you there. We're here at the end of row one. I've just completed my last single crochet. We have one chain left. That's going to be a double crochet into that very last chain. And here we have row one. Just a series of single crochets and double crochets, 22 stitches in all. Let's move on to row two. Hey, are you enjoying putting together all of the beautiful heirloom sampler blocks for our heirloom Afghan crochet along? If so, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, check out the playlist that has all of the videos for every block for our crochet along and be sure to share the video with your friends that like to crochet. Okay, let's get back to our project for this week. For row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. Our last stitch here was a double crochet and we're going to single crochet into the top of that double crochet. Now when you go into your stitch, make sure you get both the front loop and the back loop and complete that single crochet. Your next stitch from the previous row was a single crochet. We're gonna place a double crochet in there. Again, making sure you get both the front loop and the back loop, followed by a single crochet in the next stitch. This is just, again, the single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. We're going to work this across. We will have 22 stitches. I'll meet up with you at the end of row two. Just put my last single crochet in. That is stitch number 21. I'm going to go right here and place a double crochet in that very first single crochet. And that will finish off row two. Let's move on to row three. For row three, we're going to chain one and turn. And row three, all the way through the rest of our block, is simply going to be a repeat of row two. So we're going to single crochet in this last stitch, which was a double crochet. So right here is a single crochet, followed by, in the next stitch, a double crochet. Always making sure when you enter the stitch, you get both the front loop and the back loop. Single crochet, 
double crochet. We're going to complete this all the way across and repeat row two until our block is approximately seven inches square. I'm going to meet up with you at the halfway point to check the progress of our block. I've come back at about the halfway point. I've put several rows into our block and here we have a nice even edged block that we're working on here. Again, it's just a sequence of single crochets and double crochets across our row. You wanna make sure that you always have 22 stitches across each row. You're always gonna start with a single crochet and end with a double crochet. While you're working, if you find that that sequence is off, you've made a mistake somewhere, go back until you find that mistake and remedy that. You always wanna start with a single crochet on your row end with a double crochet on your row, chain one when you turn. If your block is starting to come in a little bit, you've probably missed a stitch somewhere and you need to go back and find that location again, frog your work until you get to that point and start from there. If your work is starting to come out a little bit, if it's veering out and you're starting to get a little wider at the top than at the bottom, you have too many stitches. So always make sure you have 22. This is a really lovely stitch and this would make a really nice spa washcloth or a dish cloth in 100% cotton. So this is just a really nice stitch sequence. I'm gonna go ahead and continue repeating row two until my block is approximately seven inches square and I'll meet up with you then. Here's my last single crochet and my last double crochet for this row two. And you know, I'm looking pretty darn square here. Let's go ahead and test to see if we do have a square. I'm gonna take this corner, and I'm gonna fold it down to this corner and see if we end up with a darn near perfect triangle, which we do. So we're just about where we need to be. I'm gonna go ahead and get my measuring tape out and I'm, let's see where we're at on this square. So from side to side, we're really close to seven inches. And from top to bottom, we're just a little over six, almost seven inches. By the time we get our edging on and this stretches out, I think we're gonna be okay. So we don't need to add any more rows. I think we're just about where we need to be. So I'm going to stop adding rows here. Now what I need to do is add round one of our edging with the same color as color B here. Then we'll finish off and I'll do round two of our edging with color A. Once you've completed your edging, there's only one thing left to do, that's get a tag. Go ahead and mark this one as week 52, the up and down stitch, and set it aside with your other blocks until we're ready to put our afghan together. Well, thank you so much for joining me here in the craft room today for this beautiful stitch, block 52, the up and down stitch. Until I see you again here in the craft room, Please make sure you take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.